Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, in my battery recondition with a DC welder video that I did recently, I got a lot of comments on it and, well, to me it's a lot of comments, let's start there. Um, and so, some of the comments said that I didn't do it correctly, which I appreciate the info, so we're gonna do it the way they say, um, just to see if it changes anything. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is hook that battery that sat out that had zero voltage in it. I'm gonna hook it to my military blazer, my K5, which I call Cupcake, um, with jumper cables, let it charge it up completely. With my 500 amp Horrible Freight Chicago Electric load tester, I'm gonna do a draw test on it, see what it is like that, and then I'm gonna set it and just forget it with the DC welder. So here we go, I have it set up here probably hard to hear me with my uh, K5 rolling, but here we go. And just in case anybody is going to make a comment and say that's a 24 volt system, it's not. It's been converted over to 12 volts. So I'm going to let this run right here. We will check the voltage shortly after we have it charged. I will show you what the voltage is and then we'll do a load test on it. Here we go. So as you can see, um, it got about 50 amps and it sucked it down to about two, three volts roughly. Um, so I've already topped off all the electrolytes in it. So it's completely full. I hooked it back to my K5 just to So I decided to stop it just a little bit short because we're up in the 170, 180 degrees and I didn't want to overcook the battery and have a meltdown explosion process. So anyways, yeah, um, I'm getting ready to throw it on charge and we'll go from there and see what happens. So as you can tell from the video that I just did, um, about 20 minutes, the battery got almost too hot um, and I had to stop it because I didn't want it to get past 180 degrees internal temps. One, two, um, I noticed that I keep a little bit better voltage now when I'm doing a, the draw test on it and I get just a little bit more amp draw from a full charge. So every time I run 10 15 minutes through i just get a little bit better performance out of the battery so i'm gonna keep doing it i might do an update later but this is my last battery video with a dc welder just want to update you guys